Alright, so welcome back to Fire Emblem Six: The Binding Blade, everybody. Last time, we successfully stormed Castle Ostia. We got a bunch of new units on our team, including Hector's daughter, Lelina. And we also went to a volcano for some random reason and got Durandal, the legendary sword. And then the Wyvern General of uh, Burn showed up, but then got scared off by a girl. So that's what happened. Also, we lost two units uh, last time. We lost uh, Alan. Lance's brother in arms. He was great. Very sad about that. And we also lost Sue, who I'm kind of more sad about because she was a nomad who's really cool. And also, I put a lot of time into actually going out of my way to level her up. And now she did. So, yep, that's what happened. Now we are on Chapter 9, The Misty Isles. Here we go. We got new map music, apparently. <laughs> After driving off General Narshan from Ostia, Roy and company braced themselves for the fervor attacks from Burn. However, Burn's belligerent movement towards Lysia suddenly stopped altogether. As if to mock Roy and his caution. Burn was also maintaining a neutral position regarding the truce offer from Etruria. Burn's sudden silence and lack of activity could only be described as eerie. Oh, I'm Elwood. With El Hector gone, Elwood was now the only lasting power in Lysia. Is he still sick? <laughs> Elwood summoned the various Marquises to Ferre to discuss their future actions. It was decided that Elwood was to become the next leader of the Lysia Alliance. Oh, Elwood is still here. <laughs> or he is better. Hey, Marty! Hey, Proxima! Welcome, welcome! Hope you guys are having a good, uh, good Wednesday evening. Yeah, Roy does look like he's 15, because he is 15. <laughs> Elwood hasn't aged great. <laughs> But also, he was sick at the beginning, so that might explain it. And that a new Elysia Alliance army would be established. This new army's purpose was not to take the offense against Burn, but rather to take a defensive stance for Elysia. For his victory against Burn in Ostia, Roy was also chosen to be the leader of the new Elysia Alliance army. Really? He's 15! It's almost like this is a fantasy game. Oh, wait. Slowly but surely, the people of Elysia were starting to brighten up. Business was improving, and people's attitudes started to get more op optimistic. How much time passed since last episode? <laughs> like, years? Around that time, Etruria called for Lysia's assistance in ridding the Western Isles of the outlaws and bandits making their base base there. Um... Their base base? Like, as in their base is based? Or is that a typo? <laughs> <laughs> the bandits base base? Who is canonically Roy's mom? Uh... That will spark an internet debate. The, it, the true answer is Roy does not have a canon mom, but I'm pretty sure his canon mom is Ninian. It, it makes sense, and at least as far as uh, the Fire Emblem 7 pairings go, it's pretty clear that Elwood and Ninian is like the intended pairing, based on the scenes that they have together. Ninian is best girl, definitely. Okay, well, we're off to the base base of the bandits. Lysia's citizens expressed their discontent by saying that they saw no reason in sending troops all the way to the Western Isles. Yeah, we're sending the, the Lysia Alliance army all the way to, like, the other end of the continent. That would be like if the United States started sending troops over into the Europe area. Oh, oh, wait. They, they were, they, why would they send it to the Western Isles? But because Lysia needed Etruria's protection against Burn, they had no choice but to oblige. Oh, so it's kind of like a, hey, we helped you out, you have to help us out. Thus, Roy and the Lysia Alliance army passed through Etruria and made their way towards the Western Isles. The Western Isles are the various islands off of the western coast of the Lieb. These did not come into play at all in Fire Emblem 7, except I think for that one chapter in Hector's story where he got the Armads. Currently, they are colonies of Etruria. The Western Isles are rich in minerals and natural resources, so mining is a major industry. However, these minerals are worth a fortune, so various rogue groups have traveled there hoping to loot the mines. They look very friendly. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and sell the minerals for themselves. Thus, the people living on the Western Isles spend their days in constant fear of bandit attacks. And Roy had been sent to defeat these bandits. All of them? Oh, yuck. It's time for Fog of War, everybody. You know that they're rogues and bandits because they're big ugly. That's true. That's how Fire Emblem does things. All right. Let's take a look at the map. What the heck is a Psyhole? Did they not even translate the names of these characters? Alright, he's got Voldemarius to steal. We, we're up against pirates, me hearties! Is there no way to change the formation of people? Oh, no, there is. So if we move our thief over here, we get to see a little bit more. Oh, no! Not a poison axe! <laughs> the scariest weapon. 
Uh-oh. So there are two villages there. Thankfully, this guy can't destroy them. Otherwise, we'd be in trouble. Alright. Well, I'll definitely be bringing at least one thief. Alright, pick units. Alright, so Roy, definitely Lance. Probably both the Hammer Brothers and Deke. I'll bring Thaney at least for rescue purposes. And she did level strength once last time, so I said I'd keep using her if she did. And I'm a man of my word. Definitely want to use Trek. Trek is surprising me. He's pretty good. Definitely taking Melina. I for I freaking forgot to use the Angelic Robe on her again. Um, I'm not taking Chad. Definitely not taking Boars. But out of these losers, who do we take? Not OJ, not Wendy. I could try using Barf. <laughs> Part of me kind of wants to use Barf. I could also take Zealot. Oh, uh, well, I'm definitely taking Astol, because he's the good thief and he ne we need vision. Uh, let's see. It's easier to choose. Okay, we can take one more person. I guess we could take Noah. He's not great, but he is a mounted unit, and he, has he can use swords. Barf looks like he sh Yes! You're right, Marty! Barf does look like he should- he belongs in the game bully. <laughs> He's like one of the prefects. Alright, we're definitely not using Wendy. I mean, as fun as it would be to use Wendy, I, I don't really want that kind of a commitment. Um... Zealot could be a good choice. I think I'm going Noah, though. I haven't seen Noah level up yet, so maybe he'll get a good level up. Alright, as for trading, uh, Wendy... <laughs> Wendy! Wait, no, 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 not, not throw away. Deposit! There you go, Wendy, your, your contribution to this army is greatly appreciated. Lou, we're not using you. Hey, that rhymed. I'll keep Zealot and Barf with their equipment, just in case. Chad, I think I'm gonna be using Astol instead of you. Do I have torches? I don't. Yes, OJ, that's the name of a mercenary, who I totally would use if it weren't for the fact that I'm already using Deke. Alright, that should be good. Also, we have Hero Crest, Knight's Crest, and a Guiding Ring. And an Elysian Whip. So the Elysian Whip's obviously gonna go to Thaney, but she can't use it yet. We also need to give it with a secret book to somebody. We don't want to hold on to this. Alright, Noah. You gotta get an iron sword, and we'll get you a lance. Alright, Clarine and Ellen. Who gets the torch? I think... Clarine, here. You can take the torch staff. Ellen, how close are you? Okay, Ellen, you can almost use physics staves. Which is good, but unfortunately we won't give it to you this chapter. Rootger. Give Rootger the killing edge for sure. <laughs> hey, Deke, how are you enjoying all those swords there? I hope you're enjoying them. Alright, who needs the skill the most? Ward and Lot both need skill. Trek could use skill. Oh, Lelina could use skill as well. Ooh, yeah, Lelina might be the choice for Secret Book. Here, Melina, we're just gonna pump you filled with all of the stat boosters. Uh-oh. Do we have any more animatomes? We don't. Alright, let's go to the shop. Can we buy... Guess we're buying another fire tome for Lelina. No, not the shop. <laughs> that guy looks like he's from Home Depot. The guy at the armory. We'll give out some vulneraries, because we have a bunch. Ideally, Lomina gets a Vulnerary, but that's probably not going to happen. That should be fine. Oh. <laughs> Nobody can use the Durandel, so... Plus five strength, though. That's pretty great. Here, take the Rapier. There you go. Oh! Thank you for telling me, Marty. Yeah, I... Did I not update that? Uh, whoops. Wait, it says I'm playing the Binding Blade. Oh. Okay. 
Yeah, I get what you mean. Okay, never mind. I thought you meant the title of the stream as well. I'll fix that later. But thank you for telling me. Alright. Here we go. Let's play. Chapter 9, The Misty Isles. Oh boy. Remix of the fog m music. <laughs> Boss, those guys from Lycia, they're here. You sure? Yep, we just saw them arrive on the small island to the east. Just as that other group said. Alright, they're probably floundering around in the fog, unable to see anything. Just sneak up on them from behind and kill them off. Sure thing, boss. Oh hey, it's General Cecilia. Roy, I'm sorry that I couldn't be of help. Please don't worry about it. It isn't your responsibility. It kind of is! I mean, she's one of the heads of Arturia, and these are Arturian states. You're just handing a never foreign army off to these. It isn't your responsibility, Lady Cecilia. Yes, but even within Etruria, there are a lot of people voicing their discontent on how the advisor is treating Lysia like servants. Advisor? I thought the king had made the decision to send Lysia to clear out the bandits. No, Advisor Rortz had been working with Lord Arcard. Arcard? Who's in charge of the mining operation in the Western Isles, and they decided to do it on their own without consulting the king. That's a little sketchy. How can they do that? Do you remember last year's tragedy in Etruria? Of course. Etruria's next heir, Prince Mildane, suddenly passed away last year. Right. I never had the honor to meet him. I understand that he was a very bright individual. Yes. If the prince were alive, Etruria wouldn't be like this. King Mordred couldn't bear the fact that his son had died. The shock was so great that he never completely recovered from it. And today it seems like he's always in a different world and he doesn't really pay attention to anything going on around him or in his country. This sounds like that one king from Lord of the Rings Two Towers, who's like super old, but then like, turns really young after Gandalf arrives. <laughs> Rortz took advantage of this. Now he's basically in charge of what goes on in the palace. That's super sketchy. Ever since then, he's kept the free Aturian generals, Lord Douglas, Percival, and me, away from the king, unless there's a great emergency. But what about the time when you came to aid us in Ostia? That event was an exception, because Percival worked with me. But now... Please don't worry yourself. We can return to Lycia when we complete this mission anyway. But may I ask you to take care of Lycia while we're away? Of course. You can leave the Lycia Alliance and also Princess Guinevere to me. Roy, I may not go with you. The battles on these islands are likely to become slugfests. You can never know what will happen. I think you should hide in Etruria with protection from General Cecilia. Your Highness, please trust me. I understand your intentions of suggesting a truce, and I also promised Roy that I would protect you. Trust me, I will defend you at all costs. I understand. I apologize for being selfish. Roy, I pray for your safety. Thank you, my lady. I will pray for yours as well. Get to the gameplay already! Thank you! Okay, so there are bow users and axe users up here. Maybe more. We could have Thaney drop us off across the river, but that might not be the smartest of ideas. Well, at the very least, we can get people moving over here. Alright. <laughs> Before we do anything else, Lelina, you are using that angelic robe. There we go, now you have 25 HP, which is far more safe. Also, can Roy support? No, Roy and Lelina cannot support again. That's a little unfortunate. I suppose I could put Lance up there. That probably would be safe, maybe? Wait. That's Trek, not Lance. <laughs> I think Lance is good enough. Um, no, I don't know what's up there. I don't know what's up there. But I should send somebody up there, because I don't know if the bandits are going to destroy those villages. And there's a village down there. we got to get to the villages before the pirates and any potential brigands do. Hmm. Noah is not good enough. People have been telling him that all his life. I know, but... Alright, see you, Marty. Thanks for joining in for a bit. Oh, I know what we can do. Clarine has the torch staff. Oh. Oh, lame! 
We can't use the torch staff at a distance in this. Oh, but it still works pretty far. I mean, we kind of saw all this at the beginning. So again, it looks like they're just two archers and a fighter. But if I know the fire emblem, they're going to be hiding powerful units up there. So I think I'll keep a wary eye out. And if I see pirates or brigands coming, then we can rush in to kill them before they reach the village. Otherwise, though... Hmm. No, I kind of do want to send scouts up there. We'll just do it in a smart way. We'll drop them off in the forest. So Fanny can drop Lance off in the for forest there, and then she can pull back away from the archers, and that way Lance will be in the forest with a lot of protection, and hopefully he'll... He should survive! And worst case... We can get him out of there with Thania on the next turn. That should be fine. Alright, let's see what's gonna happen. Alright, Trek! Trek was a surprise! I thought he was gonna be kind of sucky, but he's actually been very solid. He's like the low end of this game. Oh, hey, you're attacking Astol. You ain't hitting him. He's a speedy boy. All right. Okay, so Lance does not have a javelin. Well, okay! See, there is another guy up there, but they can't reach. I probably should send backup, though. How about Lot? Lot should be a solid backup. And he's got a hand axe. Ward can be there to support him as well. I'm so hesitant to move characters through the fog quickly. Because you never know what's going to pop out. But man, the cabs are definitely dominating. Oh, that's right. Valina, because she used the Angelic Robe, needs a heal. <laughs> Watch there be just, like, a paladin down there. That would be really, really sucky if there was. Okay, there's not. Oh, cool. Oh, critical hit. Nice one, Melina. Yes. Excellent. Oh, hey, they can keep... Roy can support Melina again. Melina. Melina! Roy? What's the matter? You were looking off into space again. We're in a battle. You could get killed. I'm sorry. What's wrong? It's just that we've come a long way. Long? Not distance-wise. It's just that everything seems to be changing so quickly. Do you remember the time when you came to Ostia to study? Of course. Two years. Wait, was it three years ago? You, would, you were only twelve then. At that time, your father and my father were still well. Lysia was so peaceful, no one would have imagined a war. It all seems as if it were ten years ago. Lelina. I sound so foolish. There's no way we can go back there anyway. That one was far more interesting than their last support, but still a little on the bland side, if I must say. Alright, and then Chlorine. Pull you closer to the front lines. Oh, hey! Sir Scott! Oh, it's Fur. Fur? Fear? Fur. Fur would have a U, wouldn't it? But Fear would have, like, I don't know. Oh, it's Fur. Sorry, I had to call you in. What is all this noise about? Well, you see, some brigands are attacking this island. The people living here are in danger. What? I sent some guys over to try and stop them, but the invaders are pretty tough. The situation doesn't look good. I can't believe... If only I could go out there, but I can't leave the castle. So, Fear, I'm sorry, but... Yes, I shall go and drive them off. Thanks. Leave it to me, attacking innocent villagers. That's not forgivable. 
I asked another guy too, so you can work with him. Someone else? Yeah, a nomad named Shin. Oh, a new nomad! Oh, cool! He'll be the replacement for Sue. He looks frail, but he's got a decent shot with his bow. Cool. They're here in the fog. Are you Shin? He, lo he looks like Raph as well. That's me. I heard the story from Scott. Let's go. Um... What? Um, did you also join the fight to protect the people living here? No, I have no such interest in such things. Then why? I'm paid to fight, that's all. Good talk, bro. I gotta keep the conversation going. Um, you're from Sakai, right? Right. What took you all the way out here? Money. <laughs> you're, it's nothing new. You look like you're from Sakai, and you're also here. Well, I'm traveling around Alib to train myself, and... Oh, you weren't asking about me, were you? Phew. I'm looking for somebody. Who? My clan lost to Burn when they invaded Sake. Our clan leader let me escape, and he told me to find and protect his granddaughter. Um, she's dead? <laughs> Uh-oh. So I left the battlefield to fulfill his request. I see. Well, I hope you find her. Oh, no! <laughs> yes. Don't tell me that I can't recruit this guy because I don't have Sue alive. Boss, you sure? I mean, letting a girl like that fight out there. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Once she's killed, we can get that sword she's carrying. Sword? That weird one she has? That's no ordinary sword. That's the Wodeo, a famous katana. If we can get it from her and sell it, it'll be worth a fortune. <laughs> I see. So that's why you were so generous to her at first. I couldn't make a move up until now, but now is a chance. Listen, I want you to follow her. When you see the chance, grab the sword from her. Sure thing, boss. Wow. I mean, he, he's terrible, but he's actually not stupid. Ooh, you can't hit Lelina. Actually, you easily could have hit Lelina. Lelina, we gotta work on your speed. Oh, no. That dealt more damage to Trek than I was expecting. Oh, that's a steel bow, that's why. Alright, we can at least move on to the shop, which gives us some avoid. The Axe Bros don't seem to be moving, so... Okay, we can kill this archer. Nice job, Lance! Alright, Lance, what you got? Alright, HP speed, that's the classic Lance level up. He's- he- oh my gosh! He almost has capped speed. I wish he had a little more defense. If he had a little more defense, then he'd be, like, perfect. Alright, you're a lot. Alright. I'm gonna move here, so that way if I need to emergency rescue Lance, I can have Ward take a lot. I probably should use Roy a little more. I probably should get him to max level as soon as possible, and then I can just bench him. Until he has his forced promotion at whoever the heck knows when. Alright, a Thunder Mage. That worries me. I hate low percent crit. Oh, wait! Are they heading over to that village? Because if so, we gotta, we gotta move. Oh, also, if, if Fur is here, it's a good thing I brought Noah, because he's gonna have to recruit her. <laughs> Okay, I really hope I can recruit Shin without needing Sue. Because that would really suck. Because the whole... He's a never nomad. The whole point of having a nomad is like, Oh, did you lose your first nomad? Here's a backup nomad. But you need the nomad alive to get the second nomad. That's... I guess that's actually nothing new to the Fire Emblem. Okay, rats. Can't quite reach... Alright, I don't want Trek to be in a ton of danger. 
Mmm, Noah. That's some pretty bad damage. Ah, oh, darn it, Trek. Come on. Come on, man. Alright. Both the calves up there are a bit damaged, which is not great. It's going for Trek, though. Guess that makes sense. That's fine by me. Trek's the one who I want to use long term. Noah was just kind of a one-off pick. <laughs> oh no! So scary! <laughs> All right, Lance should be fine being up here. Uh-oh. Oh no, he actually hit Lance. <laughs> He's a danger to society! There we go. We're just gonna progressively move the move the axe bros higher up. Here we go, and then Lot can get the kill. Cause Lance is a little over leveled at this point. Okay, the the pirates are not moving. That's good. Oh, Chlorine doesn't have a heal staff. Whoops, that's... that was an oversight on my part. Okay. I can't see what's up there, which is not great. But now that I know... Now that I know that the pirates don't move, I don't have to be as fast, but I still want to be fast enough to get all those villages. Oh, thanks a lot. You fool. You think you can beat Trek? No chance, no way, Trek is gonna say no. Nice level up, speed. think you can take out Noah? <laughs> Noah way. Actually, you probably can take out Noah. He's not great. That's not a great level up. You leveled up free fanes, but you leveled up like the free most useless fanes. Ow! <laughs> I'll hit eventually. No, you won't say ho. Whatever the heck that means. Oh, wait a second, I just realized that could be a kill for Thaney if I don't want to ferry Ward across as well. Ah, nah, I want to... Tell you what, if Lot misses both of these, I'll get the kill with Thaney. Never mind. Lot always gets his man! You know, Lot only has 9 strength at a level... 13 as a fighter. That's kind of bad. Did not want to go to the shop, no. Oh, come on. I accidentally hit shop instead of drop. So now I have to keep... That sucks. We should probably visit the house. The resistance is doing quite well. In the north and in the east, they're always in the thick of battle. Which way will you go? The north and in the e uh, what? Will I get a choice? Ah, uh, Rutger. We gotta work on your power, buddy.
Everybody needs healing. Ellen, you're too slow. Alright. Deke, you can do this. Ugh. Wow, you missed? Alright, well, everybody's damaged. Let's pull... Let's pull back Noah. How does Rooker fare? Okay. Rooker kills... Oh, wait! That 1% crit! <sighs> Rooker could have died there if he was unlucky. I definitely like Astol as a combat unit. He's he's pretty he's pretty good as a thief. I know I pulled back Noah for healing, but Ellen can heal him on the next turn. Trek is my man and he needs more attention. Ho-ho! 2% crit! Just for fun. Nice job, Trek. That's a ponytail, Myrmidon. That's probably fur. Yep, it's fur. Level 1 Myrmidon. Okay, so, she, so she's weak. She has the Woe Dao, though. Myrmidon Swordmaster use only 40% crit. That's crazy. Honestly? I mean, for a level 1 non-promoted unit, those are pretty decent bases. 6 strength isn't great. 5 con also isn't great, but hey, at least it's not 4 con. I'm... I mean, let's see... Six, nine, ten. Nine, fifteen, sixteen. I mean, it's possible long term that she'll be better than Rutger, but I'm, I'm, I'm already using Rutger, so sorry, sorry, not sorry. All right. Nice job, lot. That's cool. Hit once. That's all right. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm not risking that. Thaney, you can just stay out of range. Being very, very cautious. Probably overly cautious, but I can't help it. I don't want to lose any more characters, all right? <laughs> okay, so we got to make sure everybody's out of range of fur, and I'm guessing Noah will be able to talk to her. Meanwhile, we should probably have some people start moving south, so... I don't really want to send Trek all in on as lonesome. Poison Axe and Steel Bow. Alright. You have a Steel Axe. Oh, hey, it's Shin! A survivor of one of the Sakan clans decimated by Burn, one of the Silver Wolf's followers. That is a long description. He's a bigger description than like everybody else. Level 5 Nomad. Um... That's... I mean, that's that's kind of alright, I guess. 10 speed is pretty good. Yeah, yeah I mean, those, those are respectable. If I can recruit... Here's the thing. I'm... I'm guessing if we have Sue alive, we can recruit him. We might be able to recruit him as well if we get Fur. So I'm going to try that. And hopefully what we can do is, because he's bowlocked, if we can surround him, he won't be able to move or attack, and then we can get Fur close. Alright. Um, can she reach all the way to the bridge? No, she can't. Alright. Trek, you're gonna go there. 
He has full HP, so that's fine. We'll build Rutger and Clarine supports. Then at first, coming down here, we'll just move Noah closer to me in range so we can talk to her. Uh, okay. No poison for Trek. Ah, oh, rats. Trek lacks the power to kill him in two hits. And Lelina's too far away. Ow! Oh, how dare you! That's not a very nice thing to do. Haha! <laughs> I do sense a f kill for Thaney. There we go! Nice job, Thaney! <laughs> Way to kill someone with your four attack power. And you can visit one of these villages next turn. Sweet. Okay. Yep, talk to Fur. Fur, it's you. Sir Noah? W what are you doing here? Yes, I joined this army a while back. Whoa! What are you thinking? Put away your sword! Sir Noah, I thought you were nobler than this. What? Just because you're a mercenary knight. Lending your services to pirates? You should be ashamed! Huh? Don't play dumb! You're working with a band of pirates to attack the people living on this island! And you call yourself a knight? Um, can I have a sec? I think there's a really big misunderstanding. Misunderstanding?! You still insist? We're trying to help the villagers. We're supposed to go defeat the head of a pirate group. I think his name was Scott or something. What? Scott is the head of a pirate band? If you think I'm lying, then why don't you ask that pirate over there? He's right behind you, hiding in the bushes. He literally is! He's got the axe right next to you. Pirate? What pirate? Oh, no. I better go tell the boss. Hey, wait! You didn't suspect at all? No! Scott was very kind to me. Really? Rumors say that he's a very cruel man. Well, my mother used to say that you shouldn't judge people by their looks. Well, that's true, but... I was lending my services to pirates. What can I do now? Then you want to come along with us? What? Would it be okay? We're always looking for more people to strengthen our army. I'll talk to Roy about it. Thank you! Alright, and we have Fur now. Better turn on her combat animations. Oh hey, it's, it's a guy over here. Very descriptive, I know. Okay, well let's see Fur in action. Let's give her the Iron Sword, because I don't want to waste that. Ooh, that guy almost kills her in one hit! That's nuts. I mean, she's gonna level up like crazy because she's such a low level compared to what she's going up against, but I don't see much happening as a result of that. Here, Trek. The signature move! Boom! Again, I'm probably, I'm not planning to use fur. I'm guessing she's like one of those characters where like it's harder to use her compared to Rutger, but she'll be better long term. Speaking of Rutger, ha <laughs> ha! Man, is it just me or are sword users a lot more viable in this game than they are in Fire Emblem Seven? One of my few complaints about Fire Emblem Seven is that sword units just don't seem all that good because like 90% of the enemies you face are lance wielders. I'm probably using too many sword users, as a matter of fact. Like, I have Roy, Deke, Rutger, Astol, all... I guess the Cavs don't really count as sword units because they can use a bunch of different weapons. I probably should use Barf. I kind of want to. Oh, no! Trek's in danger! And he has a 14% critical hit rate, and Trek only has... I mean, he... is he going to double... Tre no, he won't double Trek. Okay, now Trek should be fine. Oh, shoot, he can attack Fur as well. Crud. And I don't have any 
Doggone it. Okay, hang on. Astol has 11 luck, and he'll survive a hit. So, I, I don't care if he shoots Trek, but I do not want him shooting Fur. So, Astol should survive. I didn't realize Shin had started moving. Ka-chain! That probably wasn't worth you doing. Might as well build supports between them as uh, some more. What's at this shop? Ooh! Regular old torches! I'm gonna buy a set of those. For my thief. That is very inaccurate. I should probably drop ward. Let's see, 11 strength, 11, 7, 6, 9, 7, 11. I think I'd rather have a fighter with higher speed than a fighter with higher strength. Because axes are fairly powerful in their own right. Yeah, I think I'm gonna drop Ward. Maybe I'll give him one more level up and see what it's like. But at the very least, they can build supports. Okay, yeah, he's attacking Astol. That's what I thought. Actually, Astol would have survived a critical hit. Sweet. Okay, now we can see if uh, Fur can talk to Shin. If not, well... Crap. Okay, so we can't recruit Shin. That kind of sucks. I really, I kind of wanted to use a Nomad this playthrough. Shoot, I should have had Melina use that secret book. Actually, though, does she really need it? Animatomes are incredibly accurate. At least Fire is. So maybe the secret book's not the best to use on Lelina to begin with. Maybe I should use it on Lot. I'm kind of in it to win it with Lot now, so... Let's see, alright. Mm -hmm. Alright, Ellen, wait. I wonder if she has, like, a boss quote with Shin. That would be kind of funny if she did. Actually, Shin might be a little tough to kill. Oh, no, we, no, he won't. <laughs> we have Rutger. Alright, Rutger, get a crit. Come on, Rutger! Bye, Shin. Sorry. Not here. I've come so far. Well, it sucks that we could... Honestly, that makes me more upset that we lost Sue, but there we go. <laughs> Level up! Alright, we got the Trek stats. HP, strength, and defense. I'm cool with this. Trek is kind of a mobile, a mobile tank, which is great. I love that. Alright, Thaney, let's visit the village. You saved us! Are you with the registrants? No? Then you're just normal good people? Just as you've seen, this island is swarmed with pirates and bandits. But what are we going to do? Rumors around here say there's a severe battle going on in the west. Go ahead and tell them that we're leaving the island. A restore staff. That's going to be nice. Um, why did that close the other village as well? Don't get me wrong, the restore staff is definitely useful, but... Oh, no. Why did that village close? The nearby villages, everyone in them are leaving the islands. It's very sad, really. If you want to visit, you'd better do it quickly. You don't have time to go to both, so you'll have to decide... Oh, is that it? So you only get to go to one village? Well, what does the other village have?
Did I miss out on something good? <laughs> I hope not. Here, no. Alright, let's see. Chlorine, let's see what's down here. I think it's pirates down here, in which case Deke can come in to save you. I'm not really sure why I'm using Chlorine, but... Well, you know, I guess having extra healers probably isn't a bad idea. Oh, yikes! Scott is a berserker. With a killer axe! Well, we're picking him off from a distance. The leader of one of the Bergen groups of the Western Isles. Well, he's a scary boss. Wow, 23 attack. 64 crit? Oh, no. Oh, that's terrifying. That is a scary, scary boss. Deke should be able to hold his own down here, but I'm bringing him back up just in case he needs a rescue. Wow, no critical hit chance with the Thunder against Deke. Oh my gosh, one man army. He's so good! <laughs> I'll freak- Okay, I love the mercenary class in general. But, like, wow. Deke is very, very good. Not quite sure if I'd put him on the same level as Raven, but... He's definitely skilled. Alright. Let's heal him up. Oh, wow. Wow. Can't even one round a pirate with a hand axe. I guess pirates have higher speed for axe wielders, but still, he has a hand axe. It also occurs to me, I have a lot of people I'm using who um, need Heroes Crests to promote. I'm using Deke, I'm using Rootger, I'm using both of the axe bros right now. Or, I guess, nah, I'm gonna drop a, a ward. I'm not really using ward, I mainly just bring him alone as a support bot for... <laughs> For lot. But still, what's at this armory? Is there anything worth buying at this armory? That's a lot of weapons, actually. I could buy another hammer, but I'm not going to. I think basically everything here I can buy at the regular shop in my convoy. I'm gonna buy just a steel sword, and I think I'm gonna buy some hand axes, because I don't think we can buy hand axes at the, uh, regular shop. We also can't buy steel axes, but steel axes kind of suck. Astol has free res. Ruger has two res. Oh, and he has Elfire. That's okay. He's not going to crit, so that's okay. I'll keep Noah close by again, just in case we need an emergency rescue out of there. I'm actually not going to use the Secret Book on Lolina, just because Secret Book is mainly used to help accuracy, and she's very accurate with her fire tones, so I think it would be a bit of a waste. What level are you, Lolina? Only level 7. I really should be giving Lolina and Roy some level ups. I mean, I'm pretty sure Deke's just going to slaughter everything down there, so we'll move her higher up. I'm very glad the pirates are going for Deke and not for the village. Nice one, Deke. HP and speed. As long as you keep one-rounding enemies, I am fine with you, Deke. 
A little more defense might be nice, but beggars can't be choosers. Oh, hey, that's a halberd. It's a good thing I didn't have Lance up in the front. Nice job, Lot. I really need to check enemies' equipment more, because there are far more enemies that have, like, dangerous equipment like halberds and hammers than normal. Oh, no. He's shooting Noah. Oh, nice dodge, Astle. Oh, a perfect one round. Nice one. Ah, not quite a level up. What level are you, Ruker? Level 12. Oh, that's right. Ruker has been killing most of the bosses, so... You know, I want to feed this archer kill to Roy. No, I'm no, I'm no! I wanted to feed that kill to Roy. <laughs> what are the odds he gets a freaking one percent chance critical hit? <laughs> oh, whatever. Any more? All right. Steel Sword Merc. Whee! Nobody needs healing up there. That's interesting. Oh man, Rooker the Wodow is going to be... Ridiculous. Alright, let's just heal up everybody here. Alright, I think... Wait, do you need A in staves for Physic, or just B? I think it's just B, at least in Fire Emblem 7, but who knows what it is in this. Might as well use a torch staff. Maybe I should conserve it a bit more, but nah. Also, Roy does need to seize the throne. Every single chapter in this game is a seize throne chapter, so... Hi, my name is Rooker, and I want your Wodow. <laughs> I didn't say you could have thanks. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, you can't. Well, no, that makes sense why, that she can't double. If I get a speed wing, I'm giving it to Lelina. No question, I'm giving it to Lelina. Alright, come on, Lelina, level speed. She. Okay, you know, she has literally leveled magic every single level up, but she has not gotten speed once. This is a problem. <laughs> you need to have more than four speed, Lelina. You really do. Alright, there are three enemies left, which means there's probably two down here. Maybe not? Maybe they're in this fog on that side somewhere. Yuck! I hate that. I hate that. I hate that a lot. The nasty thing about the... about... about Bazooker is that... He's going to have a high amount of crit even with that hand axe, because Berserkers just innately have a high amount of crit. Okay, that's right, there's a lot of units over there. Well, alright then. 
So we're not using Ruker to take out this boss. Uh, nope, that's not happening. Oh man, I, I wonder if uh, Fur has special dialogue with Scott. She probably does, but there is no way I'm putting her in battle against him because she will get destroyed. You're kidding me with the freaking ambush spawns. Well, Thaney's been poisoned. Could have been worse. Still hate ambush spawns, though. With a passion. Alright. That guy can go down. Attack Roy, that's perfectly fine. This area basically belongs to the pirates. They just steal from us all the time. Resistance? That's useless. They can do whatever they want because they have lots of support. We can't fight against them like the resistance force. Silver Sword, that's nice. Oh man, Deke will destroy with that. Okay, well... Now that these guys are heading upwards... Okay, so he can only reach up there. Send Trek down that way, maybe, to draw out the Merc. Because Trek has taken damage, I think it might work. Hey, that rhymed. I am anticipating... I'm anticipating more reinforcement spawns, so Rutger can stay there and start dealing with them. I think everyone else should pull back. There's no shame in pulling back. Yep, knew it. Knew there'd be more reinforcement spawns, or ambush spawns. Roy's holding his own. Again, that huge amount of speed he has definitely helps. I just realized I think Rutger's Iron Sword is going to break at this rate. Should have given him another one. Nice level up, Rutger. That's a good one. I just need to make sure that Thaney doesn't get trapped. That could have been bad, because Thaney is poisoned. If she had gotten hit by that, she actually would have died. Nice job, Trek. This is why I sent Trek. Because Trek can take a hit or two. Or five. Oh, never mind. Thaney actually would have been okay. <laughs> Yeah, I have the Wodao, so I can use the Killing Edge a bit. Weapon level increased for Ruger. Nice. Are you in A rank now? Oh, sweet. He is. Alright. Bow Guy can reach down there. Very nice. Nice job, Roy. Way to finish him off. Not putting her that close. Dang. 
Dang, she's still getting so much EXP. I love it. However, I can't keep her there. If I keep her there, then they will attack. Hmm. Okay, how much res... Re he has zero res. Okay, Trek's gonna eat a lot of damage from that. I think then Trek is gonna chug a vulnerary. Just to be on the safe side. Oh, you fool. You think you can go up against Lance the Pants? You're very, very mistaken. He's Lance the Invincible! My gosh, Lance is getting like no EXP. It's level 15. His stats are ready and primed, man. Yeah, there we go. More pirates, wow. Way to crit when it doesn't matter, Ruger. Probably should have given Ruger some backup. I know these are really low chances to hit, but they still deal a lot of damage, and low chances to hit can still hit. Especially when there's only one RN. <laughs> Ah, that's right, Elfire Mage is going for Thaney. That makes sense. Thankfully, Thaney has a lot of reds. Unfortunately, Thaney is poisoned. Now I need to make sure if we attack... Nope. That's not safe with the poison status effect. Not safe. Cool. Trek can deal the damage. Lelina can finish it off. <laughs> That's what we call teamwork. Nice job, Lelina. I'm hoping Lelina can help me take out the boss. Because she can pick him off from a distance with magic. <sighs> I love how she's getting magic literally every level up. I'm wondering if she has a 100% magic growth. Nope. Suicide. My gosh, Berserkers are terrifying. Fly! <laughs> Just realized if we put Clarine right there, Rutger would be getting the bonus. I don't want Lance hogging all the EXP. It's just not right. Astol, you can go and help.
Oh hey, they can get their final support. Sure. Ward, you're acting strange lately. You got something to say to me? Lot. Yeah. Don't die. You better not die. What the? If you were killed, what would happen to Mew? She's still just a little girl and she'd be forced to live on her own. But you're the same. If you were killed, Mary would be upset. Oh sure, like that <laughs> is gonna get upset over me. Wow, they really toned up the language in this game, and I'm pretty sure it's just the translation. You really don't feel that way. It's not that I won't die, we won't die. Eventually we'll go home, back to our hometown. It's just a rundown village with dirty rivers and no green at all. But it's our hometown, and there are people waiting for us there. Yeah, you're right. Why did... I'm pretty sure the game in Japan is not this foul with the language. I'm pretty sure this translation just decided to make it edgy. Let's say I'm not a fan. I really need to send back up over there for Ruker. Oh, speaking of backup for Ruger, here we have arrived. I was wondering when one of those was going to hit. Yikes! Now that's a lot of damage. Ouch. Oh, hey. Did somebody say... Oh, come on, Roy. Do, 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 do. Did somebody say Roy? All right, Roy, here we go. Level up time. He's getting speed like every level up. It's it's great. All right, well, let's finish off the Steel Axe guy who can deal a lot of damage. All right, nice level up, Ruker. Well, I haven't can't say that yet. Nice level up, Ruker. All the classic Myrmidon stats. Alright, Trek, you need to get out of there and get a nice big fat heal. Lorraine, you can just keep getting healing experience off of Thaney. Very nice. Okay, cool. Man, the pirates just don't end, do they? Oh, hey, they're attacking Ward. Must say, I did not expect that. Dang, that's a lot of EXP. Oh, that, that's because Ward is only level 9. Whereas Lot is a level 13. Soon to be level 14! <laughs> Why are you attacking Noah? When you could attack Rutger. Alright, I like I'm liking the strategy we have thus far. Oh, Thaney was magically cured of her illness. Yikes. That's high damage.
Goodbye, goodbye, Steel Axe Pirate. All right, here we go. Lelina time! Oh, she's actually getting EXP at a regular rate again. And she's so happy about it. I know he says I should stop using Ward, but... Oh, doggone it, I wanted him to get one last level up. Man, who do you use that hero crest on? Like, I'm definitely using the knight's crest on Lance. I'm almost certainly using the guiding ring on either Ellen or Lelina, depending on who needs it first. Definitely using the Elysian whip on Thaney once she gets to the point where she can use it. Who has, does anyone have a javelin down here? They don't. That is frustrating. Hmm. I suppose I could make a save state if I wanted to see what the boss dialogue is between uh, Fur and Scott. But I, I don't really care that much. Let's move Fanny back here. He can take a swing at her and then he, she can finish him off. Oh, I'm pro I'll probably use the Hero's Crest on Deke. Or Rooker. Both would be... Actually, maybe Rooker. Rooker would be a pretty great choice as well. Especially since he gets that critical hit bonus. More... You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. They stopped spawning last turn. They spawned just because Thaney was next to it. Well, I mean, she's still dodging, which is really great. Oh, wow. Nice job, Thaney. All right, Thaney, level up. Are you going to get strength again? No, of course you're not. Why would you? Okay, Lot, let's see what you got. All right, more strength. That's respectable. Oh, hey! Ward can get the finishing blow! And get another level up. I'm amazed Thaney has that much ev evasion. I truly am. You have a Steel Axe, you have a Hand Axe. Steel Axe guy does 14 damage. And you do 11 damage. Surely I won't get hit by all of that, though. Well... <laughs> nope, I'm not, I'm not risking that. No way I'm risking that. Wow, Noah. Wow. Dane, nice critical hit, Roy. <laughs> Very impressive. And I do believe we're getting to the point where I'll only be able to do one chapter per stream. Okay. I... No. I want to finish that one HP guy off with Thaney, but no. Not like that. <laughs> Okay, Melina does crazy damage to Scott, which is awesome. And he can't retaliate because he has the Killer Axe equipped. I love that. Whoosh! Get wrecked. Alright, Ward, let's see your next level up. <laughs> okay, no. Yeah, I Ward's getting the... Well, I don't know if he's getting the bench, but I should stop trying to use him from a serious standpoint, because he's... 
He's been getting some disappointing level ups as of late. What about Hellfire? Hellfire does even more damage, but we'll stick with fire. So the fog didn't stop you after all. But you gotta be pretty beat up by now! I'll finish you off! Alright! Nice hit, Lelina. A fire broke? No! Beautiful. <laughs> Maybe I'll have... No, that would be such a waste to finish the boss off with fur. Such a waste. There are still more pirates! This is nuts! Another reason why I moved Thaney away. Alright, yeah. Let's get Ward out of there. But see, the number of axe users that we're going up against means I'm very glad that we have so many sword units. Heck, even Thane... You know, I don't give Thane enough credit. Even though she's at weapon triangle disadvantage, she's still dodging like crazy. Granted, axes are very, very unreliable. That hand axe is only at a 50% chance. And she does... Wow, she's 40 free of aid. Just from her speed and luck. I am a little bit worried that if Rooker gets unlucky, he can take a couple hits and die, because dodge tanking isn't quite as reliable in this. Here we go. There we go, Fainy. Man, this, it really speaks volumes how much axes suck that I can even do this. What the heck is with Roy in these critical hits? <laughs> it's the third critical hit in a row he's gotten with the Rapier with a 12% chance. It's just bonkers. Alright, nice one, Lelina. Ooh, animal weapon level has increased. Just imagine, she'd be doing even better if Roy was up here. Let's have Trek go down here. Oh, he already has the sword equipped. Nice! Man, why does this guy have so much evasion? He has more evasion than the other guys do. <laughs> How does Fur even fare? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no thanks. I'm, I don't want to send Fur right to her death, as a matter of fact. There are still more reinforcements! This is absolutely nuts! Are all of these reinforcements here so that Fear can get level ups? This actually would be a very good area to level up for. I'm not using her, though. I'm using Rutger. <laughs> you know, I actually kind of appreciate the developers doing this. You get a level 1 Myrmidon in a le on this level, so they give you a huge amount of axe fighters that you can... But even so, she dies in, like, one or two hits, so... Don't know if that's the most reliable thing to do, but... I, I respect it. I respect it a lot. Yeah, that this guy right here has less evasion than the uh, the other guy, despite it seemingly being the same. And hey, I can level up Roy here as well, which is great. Alright, speaking of leveling up Roy... Level 11! Alright, well that's a sucky level up. 
Still, people are allowed to get sucky level ups every now and then. Man, Rooker is kicking butt! And I love it. Nope. 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 I don't want to risk it just in case she misses that 72 and gets hit. Like, twice in a row. I would do it if this was Fire Emblem uh, 7. Fire could kill, but it's probably not going to hit, so here we go. We'll get you eventually, Scott. Oh, look! More reinforcements! Do they just never end? Are they gonna keep spawning in as long as Scott uh, is here? <laughs> nice one round, Rooker. Ho <laughs> ho Nice one. Yeah, I actually think Rooker might be the one who we're giving that hero crest to. That would... Mm, yeah. I think that would be the smart choice. As much as I really like Deke, I think Ruger will benefit more from the Hero Crest. Just due to that massive critical hit chance that's gonna go up. Now I will do this. Nice one, Thaney! Oh my gosh, that EXP, though. Hi! She's still only level 9, because it's so hard to give her kills. Oh yes, Scott's on Death's Door. <laughs> Valina, there is, there are more stats out there than just magic, you know. She has got nine level ups. She's leveled magic every time and has not gotten one point of speed. It's it, this is literally the exact opposite of Thaney. The difference, however, is at least Valina can deal a lot of damage, so I think she's a lot more viable. It's just Valina will get one rounded by tons of enemies later on. Also. Just in case there are yet more reinforcements. Which I would not at all be surprised if there were. Like, she's... Melina's not even getting, like, HP at all. The only reason she has that much is because of that Angelic Robe. Which is definitely a good decision that I get made. I'll get Fear over here. You know what? If she wants to help take out some pirates, I think she should be allowed to. Okay, no, the pirate reinforcements have finally ceased. <laughs> Sayonara, Mr. Pirate. Put that stupid pirate in the center is just healing up. Not if I can help it. Go on, Roy. Give me another Reaper crit. Nope. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Trek can finish the job. Level up for Trek! Nice one. Strength, defense, HP, luck. 
My gosh, he's so tanky. For a cab, at least. <laughs> because Roy is here, Melina has a permanent 10% accuracy increase. Here we go. Nice one, Melina. Who the <laughs> are you? You're no ordinary army. It's Melina with like 20 magic. <laughs> That's who she is. What? She didn't get magic? Melina, are you feeling okay? I really want her to get speed. This is, seriously, this is a Dorcas level of speed growths. Does she have a 0% speed growth? That would suck if she did. That's more HP getting that he got back than I was expecting. But you fool. That's uh, oh crap. Oh, that's scary actually. You know what? If he wants to attack me, then he can. Otherwise, Level up for Ellen. So Ellen kind of reminds me of Sarah in terms of her stats. Or no, not really. Sarah has crazy skill, speed, luck, and resistance, and like no defense, HP, or magic. But Ellen's still lacking in the skill and speed department as well, so... Actually, she's just not very good. Well, I feel bad that we had to kill Shin, but... Eh. Well, what you gonna do? See, he's just gonna freaking keep doing that. Of course I'm just within his range, because why wouldn't I be? And now he's actually probably going to come out and attack. I gotta build up that, uh... Oh, he has the Deke Zaney support as well. Forgot about that one. And the Lance, uh, Roy support. We should build that up as well. No, I'm probably not going to use you after this, so... That's fine. Well, I'll shoot. If Pirate doubles Thaney and kills her, I'm going to be real mad. Okay, at least he didn't double her. But with the kind of bullcrap that the game was handing me, I fully expected him to double. And hit both times. Because of course that would happen on the last enemy at the end of a really long level. Junk. Goodbye. Trek saves the day. I wish that this game showed you who the MVP was on each map. That would be great. Kind of like the newer Fire Emblem games. Alright. There we go, there we go. 
Now I think we can just wait a whole bunch, and, event and of course take Trek back here so he can be healed up. Every little bit helps! Jump! Ellen needs to support someone, I just don't know who she could support. But let's just keep those supports building. <gasps> Poor Fur is in exile. Alright, wow. Okay, we've gotten Rutger to... Oh no, this is B support with Clarine. There you are! I won't let you go this time! Knock it off. What? That is no way to respond to someone's kindness! You're starting to get on my nerves. Insulting a lady like that! That is not how a proper gentleman should act! Alright, I'm sorry. Don't cry. I I'm not! I know he is not to blame, but why am I acting this way? I don't know, Clarine. Why are you acting this way? One of these days, I'm going to reach a chapter where it's like, if you want the side quest, you need to clear it really, really quickly. And I'm like, oh, I wasted so many turns building up supports that I didn't do that. There's also, a, there is a cap to the amount of support points you can get on each chapter. I think that's like a cap of 50 or something. Or like a, maybe 150. Across all of your units, so... Eventually, you should just stop uh, waiting, because it's not going to actually do anything. Alright, well, that's that's all the patience I have for this level. Let's go. Merlinus, it looked like the enemy was trying to ambush us. They must have known we were coming. Something must be going on behind the scenes. Yes, clearing out the bandits might be harder than we had expected. Ever since Burns started their invasion, something is different with Aleeb. I wonder what's going to happen from now. Dragons reappearing, Burn Sun Invasion, the collapse of the Lysia Alliance. All of these strange things happening at once. Still, we have to take things on one at a time, however tedious it may seem. Now, where do we go from here? Let's head west. West? I've heard there's a rebel group based there. They're fighting the bandits to protect the villagers. I see, so we can visit them and gather some information on what's going on in these islands. Right. If we just go searching blindly, we won't get anywhere. I have no objections, Master Roy. Alright, then let's head west. Well, sorry Shin. Didn't want to kill you, but them's the breaks. And we are now at the point where I think we will only be able to do one chapter per stream, which means we're probably going to be streaming this for a while. Maybe I'll try doing... Maybe I'll stream this again Friday night as well. That might happen because we missed Monday's stream. So I guess keep your ears peeled for that. Otherwise, we'll probably go back to Monday, Wednesday for this game because I won't be able to continue the multi-world seed for a couple more weeks. And we might be doing something pretty interesting for Saturday's stream, if Saturday's stream happens. So look forward to that. In the meantime, next time on Fire Realm 6, we're going to Chapter 9. That, um, they just... Oh no, that, that was Chapter 9. Chapter 10, Caught in the Middle. Well, that'll be interesting to see next time. We are now, I think, officially at the point where I don't know what's coming next. Or at the very least, this next level, I think, will be the one that I reach quit on. I don't know. Some of these levels don't seem all that familiar to me. So, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless.